In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Excel file that you can later use to import your products. First, we're going to create the fields for the Excel file. Every product must have a SKU field. You also need a name or a title field. This is the name or the title of your product. Choose your titles for your products carefully as they are search engine friendly. The description field is optional, but you usually use a description field so that the search engines have more keywords to find your product by. Price field is mandatory if you will sell products based on their price. Image field is not mandatory, but if you want to have images with your products, you do need to have an image field. Options field include things such as size, color, and so on. For now, we're going to name it Options. Later, we'll rename this field. If you're going to ship your items by weight, you will need a weight field. Next, I'm going to show you how to fill in each one of these fields. Notice the price field has no dollar sign. It will not import correctly if you put a dollar sign in the price field. Notice the image field. The image name matches the SKU. With the image name matching the SKU, the system will automatically find the image. As long as you have uploaded it, it will find it and add it to this particular product. Notice the commas between each size that I've added here. Notice in the weight field I've just entered a 1. That represents 1 pound. And notice I did not put pounds or LBS after it. This field in the system automatically assumes you are shipping in pounds. You'll see here I've also added a category field. Now I'll show you how to add your categories correctly so that they go into the correct main category and the correct subcategory. For instance, example one category, that means this is just belongs to one category. This particular product belongs to the example category two and the subcategory of one. The following examples show other examples if products belong to more than just one category and more than one subcategory of each main category. Notice how some are separated by a slash and some are separated by a comma. The slashes represent the main category and the commas represent subcategories. Notice above in the weight field, the first item is 0 0.2. The system would calculate that as ounces. Again, this is your size field. You could use an options field such as chain length or anything you wish. You can have as many options as you wish. It is important to note that the SKU number must be unique. That means no other product can share the same SKU number. You would have to change it using an A or a B or a dash after it. And again, the images must be named the same thing as the SKU, otherwise the system will make you assign the images manually to each product. When you're all done, scroll up and click that 